Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back all. This is your African boy, myself Gabs Gabi from South Sudan. I am currently studying in India. I'm doing BTEC in Petroleum Engineering. So actually, I got a lot of message from foreigners or African, I can say. So people are asking about the educational system because I do share a lot of my pictures and some of my vlogs out in India. So people are trying to know about the educational system and life in India. So I decided to make this video. So today I'm sharing five things that each and every foreigner should know about educational system in India. And without wasting time, if it is your first time here, show some love, join the African family so that you will not miss such content in case you want to enjoy my vlogs in India, check my channel and without wasting time, let's go. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the study in India. So like I can say overall, like some people will ask, is study in India, is it hard? Is it difficult or easy? So what I'm going to say guys, uh, study in India, it depends to the universities and depend on the colleges. And overall, it also depends on you because to be honest guys, like some people, like some foreigners, they come to India here and they will end up forgetting the purpose of being here. Like they will neglect and taking study seriously. That is where they end up failing and they will complain that the educational system or study in India is hard. So to be honest, it is not hard. Uh, it all depends on the effort that you, you can do. Like the more effort, the more you study, you focus. Like uh, I'm not saying that you don't need to enjoy, but as long as you know how to manage your time, definitely everything will be easy. So manage your time, you can enjoy in the same time, have fun with your friends and just maintain the time for your studies. Your study in India is not hard, it's only difficult if you are not taking it serious. So the second thing I want to cover also is about classes in India. So here most of the university or colleges in India, uh, it seems most of them I can say 90% they have the same system of education like people will go to college or university from morning which is you will start preparing yourself from 6 uh, 6 in the morning and you will go to college you will, you will have college bus or else if you are staying in the hostel you will just start from there and everything will start like classes mostly start from 9 or 9 30 up to 5 or up to 4 30 so from morning up to evening this is what you have to know if you're coming to study in india so it's a full day job bro so don't get discouraged but yeah this is how educational system in india is done i know most of my african friends watching this video they will not like it because i know how my the universities in my country are like some days like we don't have full classes daily some days like friday maybe uh, Saturday they used to have like from morning up to lunch time and then people will go home it depends on the lectures some people in back in Africa or other countries they just used to have like three to four lectures but here it's just like high school bro I'm saying the university here they are like high school from morning up to evening full classes which is something also great and nice for those people who want to learn more those who love to study definitely you will enjoy this system and the third thing which most of my african brothers most of the foreigners in general they hate it the most is what we call it attendance which is the third thing so india has the attendance system where they take it more serious even than the study do you know that guys like this is what uh, people really hate here in india because of attendance which is made compulsory and they are also implementing detain detain if you fail to read the required attendance like they are saying like uh, minimum you should have like 60 or 65 in my college they are saying here i'm studying in gent uk my state is ap which is andhra pradesh mostly like the system are the same like if you are having uh 50 below 50 attendance they are going to detain you you will stay at home bro you will stay at home for one year which is something sad and some people they already got that i have 
friends who got detained for their attendance and yeah which is something sad but we also at the same time it's a great advantage for you to get more of knowledge from your course so that it will force you to go to the college daily it's not that you have to go daily you definitely will skip but make sure to maintain attendance it doesn't mean if you don't go like if you, if, if you are going if, if you don't go daily you will get detained but just follow maintain your attendance like I still remember how what what I used to do like I used to go to college when I'm free I, uh, when I have nothing I used to go to college like to make uh, my attendance go to 80 to 90 when it is 90 above I will stop going to college and when it's dropping like it's coming up to uh, when it's coming below 60 that is when I will be serious again yeah this how you can manage it so the fourth thing is the communication problem like uh, Indian they have different accent compared to other countries guys which is also another challenges you will face here but it doesn't mean you won't understand them but it's a matter of time because Indian they have different accent Indian they speak different of language Hindi, Telugu, Malayalam yeah, so it's going to be hard for you in the beginning to understand their accent. You will be sitting in the class like this for one, two minutes. You will not get anything bro. But yeah, it just depends on the, it's kind of an experience and practice. You just have to get used to it. Like, yeah, it's just like a newborn child or you are in a new village where you're trying to learn new language. It's not a new language, it's English, the same thing guys, but the only problem is how, like, the accent problem. I'm not saying it, it is not, uh, obviously it's not in other, any other university. It depends if your college is like some big, big, big college, like, yeah, they have very super, like, great teachers which they have, like, fluent and nice English that you can understand easily. It's only that if you get, like, yeah, teachers who local teachers like just know you will face that and it's not a big problem I'm just telling those are one of the challenges you might face here so it's not a big deal so the fifth thing is uniform so obviously uniform is not like in every university or in every college like but in my college uniform is mandatory is compulsory for every student to wear college uniform so they have their own rules of setting that which i also love it like yeah i see it good from my side for making uniform compulsory for all students because we don't know guys we are from different background we all have different problems financial problems so you have to think about others right like you can say you're from if you're from rich family i'm not from rich family so how am i going to maintain four years buying new clothes all the day all the time every month it's challenging right but uh yeah so it depends it's all your choice like to which university you're going you can know about that whether the uniform is mandatory or not so some university they give the freedom of wearing whatever you want and some university uniform college uniform they will give you college uniform and you have to wear it every day so the last but not the least is a uh, food problem like india have variety of food guys and definitely don't worry you'll find your favorite food once you will be once you come to india but people who are complaining about food mostly are the hostelers people who come for study and they stay in the hostel so if you're staying in the hostel just know you'll find some indian friends there they are also mostly they will be indian staying in the hostel so you as a foreigner you will definitely not love their food because like yeah like, uh, you don't eat something like this you don't eat the same food uh, as usually you do in your country so you are going to find something different which sometimes you will love some people will get used to it some people will reject but you just have to know you will find like difficulties challenges in food and that is why I'm staying outside because I can cook whatever I want according to my wish. So it's about time also. Don't forget you will get used to Indian food. I'm not saying Indian food is bad, but what I don't like about Indian food, like I still remember when I came in first year, I was suffering because of the spicy guys. You don't know how much I used to look. I'll be eating 
and drinking water. You eat like this, you drink water because they love spicy chili, and you will be eating and sweating. What the heck? So it's another problem. So that is it. And in case you want to know more about the the study, you want to study in India, you can reach me out. This is my Instagram account. You can DM me. Just inbox me, and yeah. I will help you how you can come to study in India and uh, whatever kind of help just reach me out so that is it in case you love this video guys kindly like also so that it might reach other foreigners and YouTube will be happy with this video love you all all the best for your studies love from Africa